what every business analyst can learn from journalists. I work with lots of business analysts, helping them understand how to use data better to really extract insights and then communicate those insights effectively. And it's the last step that lets lots of business analysts down. We're quite good at collecting the right data, turning this into great insights, but if we then don't communicate this effectively, it will not have the impact. So what I believe we can learn from is what journalists do, because if, for example, a journalist is investigating a story, they will collect data, they will conduct interviews, they will do lots of things and then collect this data and then package it in a way that we can easily understand. So they don't just give us all the raw data and this is happening in so many companies when business analysts collect data, we just dump all of this data into some sort of reports or dashboards or spreadsheets and then saying, Thing, give it to, to some decision maker, say, good luck, you find the answers. Journalists don't do this. They will create a front page of a newspaper. And this basically has three key components to it. It has a headline that tells you exactly what happened. It then gives you a picture that puts the headline into context. And then we'll give you a short narrative, basically telling you the key facts of this story. So if you go into a news agent and you look at the newspapers and re you read all the newspaper front pages, you get a pretty good feel of what is currently happening in the world or in your part of the world. I don't feel that businesses do this. We have lots of business reports, lots of dashboards, but nobody really understands the key messages. And the reason is that we don't learn from what journalists do. So I believe we need to bring those three elements into our business reporting so we are telling stories. We need to create headlines saying this is what the data is telling us. We then need to bring in pictures, i.e. really good data visualizations that turn the data into something people can understand. And then we need to bring in narratives that basically capture the essence of the story saying putting the data into context saying this is why we've got these results, these are the implications of these results. And I've worked with, with clients in the ent entertainment industry, for example, one of the biggest media companies I've recently worked with. And what we did is we actually created almost this corporate newspaper. So we called this POP, standing for Perspectives on Performance. And they now have these magazine front covers. Particularly what, what works well is when you have headlines that include numbers and are somehow what, the, what they call benefit orientated. So you need to, I need to really understand this. So what they're now doing is they're putting onto their corporate newspaper, their performance report, the three things that came out of our staff survey, the five financial challenges for the next quarter. And then you open this up and there you get then this newspaper front page style report with the headline, with a good graph, a graphic or good data visualization and a narrative. And surprise, surprise, people really understand what is going on in the organization. And being a media company, they created these digital tabletops. So if you basically go near a water cooler and sit down, you have these digital tabletops so they detect that you've just sat down. It spins around, pop. You then say, okay, what are the three things that came out of our staff survey? You then get this opening up, you get the headline, the narrative, the picture, and what you're doing here is you're basically controlling the corporate narrative because people really understand the insights and then these stories get told and retold and everyone in the organization suddenly understands what is going on and what the priorities are and what the insights are. And this is what I help organizations do. I help them get better data, use this data more effectively and then communicate this data effectively to really drive better decision making. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real world case studies and examples.